Having a small bedroom isn't bad at all. In fact, it's cozy and warm. If you too have a small bedroom, you know that it has its advantages. However, lack of space can be troubling at times, especially if you cannot organize your room the way you want to. The good news is that effective solutions exist. With a bit of creativity, some free time, and basic skills, you can transform your small bedroom, making it your favorite place in the house. Next, you'll find the list of 20 lit small bedroom organizing ideas worth trying by simphome.com. Apart from making your bedroom look its best, you'll have a lot of fun doing these amusing do-it-yourself projects. Also, since the main point of DIY projects is to make something beautiful without spending a lot, you will be able to save money, enhance your skills, and decorate your bedroom at the same time. Number 20. DIY Suspended Wooden Shelf If your bedroom is too small to accommodate a big shelf, consider building a suspended wooden shelf that will take up less space. Place it against the wall and it will give your room a modern, airy feel. To build the shelf, you'll need galvanized pipes with threads at both ends, wooden planks, braided sisal rope, some basic tools such as a wooden clamp and drilling machine, as well as some glue and screws. All you need to do is assemble the rod, measure the drill holes, secure the boards together, drill the holes in them, and sand them. Then hang the rod, tie the ropes on it, tie the first shelf on the ropes and make sure that the shelf is level. Finally, make decorative reels at the top and your shelf is complete. Number 19. DIY IKEA Drawer to Bed Hack IKEA drawers are everyone's favorite. They are handy and good looking at the same time. But did you know that they can be made into a bed? That's right, with a few straightforward steps, you can transform these practical drawers into the bed of your dreams. You'll only need a drilling machine, a cordless screwdriver, a cutter, and a pencil for this project. Position your drawers, making a stable frame for your bed. Then, connect the drawers with angles. Add the slatted frame by gluing it to the bed frame and you'll have completed your new bed. Simply add a mattress and you can start resting. Oh, and one more thing, you can still use the drawers for storage. Just make sure that they are facing the right way. Number 18. A Closet Loft A closet doesn't have to be a boring storage area. It can be a fun loft, too. Your kids will love spending time there and you will enjoy seeing them play. To get started, remove the upper shelf to make room for the loft and take the clothes bar down. Next, measure the wall and decide on the height for the loft. Find studs and attach a 2x4 piece of wood where you want your base to be. Attach another two 2x4 two side pieces to the wall, making sure that everything's level. To support the box you created, you need to add cross supports. Then, cut plywood, trim it out, and attach it to the front of the 2x4s. Finally, build a ladder, install foam and fabric, and let your kids have fun. Number 17. DIY Metal Wall Grid A metal wall grid can make any wall look modern and interesting. What's more, it doesn't take up a lot of space, and it is easy to make. Also, you can get a metal grid for a couple of dollars. To prepare it, pry off the metal brackets, sand off the rust, if there's any, wipe it down, and give it a couple of coats of spray paint. Once it dries, you can hang it on your wall and start decorating. That's when the fun begins. You can add photos, notes, quotes, and you can even hang your keys or sunglasses on the grid. Also, put in a wall clock makes your space look more modern. Number 16, a leather mail organizer. Organizers are a godsend. They are a perfect tool to help you keep your clutter in order. Not only that, they can be a stylish addition to any home. And you don't have to buy expensive ones. You can make your own wood and leather mail organizer. Firstly, gather your materials. You'll need a wood plank, leather, brass nails, sandpaper, clear gloss polyurethane, a plain brush, paper towels, mounting hardware, and adhesive foam boards. Then, cut out the pockets from the leather, coat your board in polyurethane, mark where you want your pockets to be, put the leather in place with folded edges on the bottom, and add the nails. Next, drill holes for hanging wire, put your organizer on the wall, and you are all done. 
Number 15. Hidden Rolling Dresser Drawer You can never have enough storage room, right? Luckily, even with limited space, you can make some additional space with this creative and easy idea. Simply use any old chest of drawers you have, take the drawers out, remove all hardware, and paint them in your favorite color. Then, add some wheels on the bottom and a fancy knob in the front. Place your rolling drawers under your bed and enjoy the extra space. Number 14. Hexagon Shelf Hexagon shelves are an eye candy. Plus, you can make them in whatever color or colors you want and use them to store some small items. Plus, they are simple, cheap, and fun to make. Buy 12 hexagonal mirrored tiles, 12 hexagonal gift boxes, and 12 pieces of double-sided wall mounting tape. That's all you'll need for this project. Arrange the boxes and make a pattern of your choice. Using the tape, attach each box to the center of each tile. Then, hang everything on your wall and your project is completed. Number 13. Rolling Storage Crates Storage units can be pretty expensive, and they take up a lot of space, which is never good news for small bedroom owners. Fortunately, there are creative solutions that will help you gain more storage room without making your room too cluttered. If you have some extra space under your bed, consider making rolling storage crates. Your crates should fit perfectly under your bed, leaving no unused space. Gather the wood for your crates, cut it in pieces, and stain it. Then, use a drill to make crates, and add wheels on the bottom once you're done. If you want to, spray paint your crates and add hardware once they dry. Number 12. Under Bed Storage Idea by Sawdust to Stitches Here's another storage idea for under your bed. This one will really give you a lot of space, but it's best to apply it on a bed that you don't use on a daily basis. If you have a guest bed, that's a perfect place for this storage idea. Build a platform from wood pieces, attach legs to it, and make a base. Next, add OSB, you will probably need to cut it to fit the platform, and place the whole structure under the bed. To hide all the clutter, consider sewing a faux bed skirt. That will do the trick. Number 11. Sliding door under $40. When lack of space is an issue, sliding doors can be a convenient solution. If you think such doors are expensive, you are mistaken. You can build your own sliding door for less than $40. You'll need two plumbing flanges, one plumbing angle bracket, a plumbing pipe, three hinged loops, two sheets of masonite, one bundle of two by twos, two small wheels, assorted nails, 20 wood screws, and some really basic tools. Using a drill or screwdriver, build the frame first. Then, add wheels, hinged loops, the pipe, angles, and flanges. Level your door, mark holes for the screws, and attach the plumbing hardware to the wall. That's it! You can now check if your door is working properly. Number 10. Bedside Pocket Organizer Pocket organizers are endlessly cute, but also useful. Instead of buying expensive ones in fancy stores, sew up one on your own. First of all, pick a material for your pocket organizer. You can either choose one and use it on all pockets, or pick different fabrics for each pocket. Make the binding and start to sew. Also, don't forget to use Soft and Stable from Bayans on the inside of your organizer. Once you're done, use a non-slip shelf liner. It will help keep the organizer under the mattress. Number nine, comfy pillow beds. If you love being extra comfy, try making the simple pillow bed that will make your leisure time the most relaxing experience. Take two pillowcases and pin the top edges together. Then, add a third pillowcase and pin bottom edges together. Take the fourth one and pin on the top again. Next, sew pinned edges together and attach a handle. Stuff your pillowcases with pillows and your bed of pillows will be completed. Number 8. Old Cabinets to Two Bunk Beds with Storage for Girls If your daughters are sharing a small room, you know how problematic that can be. While bunk beds might be convenient, kids often fight over who will sleep on which bed. Also, the bed provides no storage. 
However, there's a way to create enough storage room and have two separate beds for your girls' room. How? Believe it or not, by using kitchen cabinets. You can get any cheap old cabinets, paint them, and use them as mattress platforms. Apart from being extremely useful, the cabinets will look lit. Also, your daughters will get to sleep on their unique beds and have all the extra storage for their clothes and toys. Number seven, over the door organizer turned into bedside storage. If you have no place where to put your books, magazines, or your phone, and you don't have enough space for a nightstand in your bedroom, consider turning an over the door organizer into a bedside storage. Fold the over the door storage in half and cut it with scissors. Put a rope through the holes on the top and use it to secure the organizer under your mattress around the bed frame. That's it. You now have extra bedside storage. Number six, updated kitchen command center. While a chalkboard may be convenient, it doesn't look as good as a modern kitchen organizer. In a few simple steps, you can create this gorgeous command center and make your kitchen look its best. Mounting the wall organizer is easy and adding and removing the accessories is even easier. In addition, the organizer is portable and it has many sorting options. Simply hang it on your wall, add some folders, files, little drawers, a small whiteboard, pictures, or whatever you like. Number five, DIY bed on wheels. If you love rearranging the furniture in order to find the perfect place for each piece in your room, you should make this portable bed on wheels. Apart from having a cool bed, you'll be able to move it around with ease. Gather all the materials you'll need for your desired bed size and start working. When it comes to tools, you'll only need the basics. Lay out the frame and start drilling. When you finish, flip the bed frame upside down and add the wheels. You can pick some fun ones in vivid colors or patterns. Then, paint the frame, let it dry, and wipe it with a damp cloth. Add the mattress and your bed will be ready to use. Number four, open concept rustic modern tiny house with small bed. Even when the space is limited, a wide open feeling can be achieved. But if you love sleeping on a nice comfy bed, you might be wondering if it's possible to get the open concept without compromising on your bed. The answer is yes. All you need to do is elevate your bed using garage door sliding hardware and lift system. That way, you can save space during the day and lower your bed at night to sleep on it. It's easy. You can move it with a push of a button. Number three, do-it-yourself bed with drawers. Drawers are many people's favorite storage solutions. They provide ample space while looking subtle and modern. Plus, you can put them almost anywhere. To make more room in your bedroom, you can build a platform bed with drawers. To get started, you'll need a lot of plywood, wood shims, lumber, glue, screws, drawer slides, etc. When it comes to tools, the list is pretty long, so make sure that you have everything you need. More detail in the description area. Building both the base and the drawers can be a bit challenging for a beginner, so consider getting an additional pair of hands for this project. Number two, DIY upside down optical illusion bookshelf. Why buy a regular bookshelf when you can build one that nobody else has? Build your shelf upside down and all of your guests will ask you where you got it from. Take a wood plank, paint it in your favorite color and let it dry. Then take some elastic bands and tape them together with a stapler in the middle of the wood plank as densely as possible. The bands should fit your books so check before you staple them. Lastly, attach shelf brackets and hang your shelf on the wall. Add books and your upside down shelf is complete. Before we get to number one, I suggest you to press the subscribe button if my channel is new to you and the bell icon beside it. This way, you'll get a new notification every time I publish a new video. Number one, DIY floating organizer. 
If you have no room for a closet, you can make a floating organizer easily. Take a hardwood round dowel, drill two holes one inch from both ends, and stain the dowel. Once it dries, take two paracords, make a knot, and put the cords through the holes. Add metal rings on the top of the paracords, secure with a knot, and hang the dowel on a heavy-duty ceiling hook. Add some S-hooks and you're done. You can hang your clothes, bags, backpacks, etc. without occupying a lot of space in your bedroom. What's more, you can hang these floating organizers in your kitchen, bathroom, and hallway too. That's it, my fellow DIYers. I hope you enjoyed my countdown through this list. Before you go, like this video or share it with anyone close to you in your social media account. Do liven up the comment box with your reaction or suggestions. And lastly, until next time, thanks for watching.